Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News this morning. Happening right now, President Biden and Governor Hochul preparing to make separate trips to the war-torn Israel. It comes as that country prepares for a ground invasion against Hamas. Former President Trump is back in Manhattan for his civil fraud trial. It comes as the judge in one of his federal cases imposes a gag order that will impact what he's able to say on the campaign trail. Plus a major renovation of the home venue for Shakespeare in the Park. Ooh, a groundbreaking today at the Delacorte Theater. Pretty cool to detail that. Good morning on a busy <laughs> Tuesday. It's October 17th. Great to have you with us this morning. I'm Mike Mars. Huh? Good morning, everybody. I'm Shirley Nalika. Was it, what is, was it the Tour de Bronx? That, that, yeah, it yeah. that's what got that started that's for yeah. me. So you can ride your bicycle to yeah. the park. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway. I don't know what's happening. I just feel like I need some tea now. <laughs> oh, with the pinky up? Yes. <laughs> that would be very appropriate. <laughs> you certainly need some alternative ways in if you're headed you into Yeah, you right. want to grab a big thing of tea because you may get caught in a lot of traffic if that's the way you're traveling in. But then you'll need a bathroom. So right, exactly. That. Then you'll need a There's quick stop. There's always that. So. Mm -mm. Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News this morning. Two high-profile trips to Israel. Both President Biden and New York Governor Kathy Hochul set to visit the war-torn country. It comes as evacuees make their way through Newark Airport. We are hearing from some this morning. Donald Trump back in Manhattan for his civil fraud trial, but a gag order in another case has the former president fuming, saying he is willing to go to jail. Plus, it is poised to become New York City's first ever professional soccer stadium, and now we're getting an updated look at the plans. First up, you are never more than seven minutes away from weather and traffic, beginning with Sam Champion and the AccuWeather Forecast. Hi, Sam. Hey, good morning, everybody. So our skies are looking pretty good right now. I think we will develop some scattered clouds as we go through the day today, and there may be a spot sprinkled this afternoon. I'm going to show you why that may happen as we go through the morning, but just be prepared to dodge one or two, and it's right around lunchtime in the evening hour that that could happen, but there won't be much more than that. 51 degrees under clear skies right now. What a pretty morning. Just after 7 o'clock, around 7.09, that's the official sunrise. We've got a little light on the horizon now. 52 in Yankee Stadium, 54 near the Whitestone. The most of the city is running well. So look at that delay as you head into the closure. And we'll tell you that that is going to be 30 minutes to go on the Bruckner Southwest from Westchester Avenue down into the scene. Street cleaning rules are in effect. Sam. All right, Heather. All I noticed was the brightening in the sky. And we start with a really nice morning. Temperatures are right where they should be. 51 is normal. That's where we've been in the city, even though we've got some 40s around us. So as we go through the day today, there are some clouds that get developed in the day. So we're going to go Partly cloudy later on this afternoon, and there can be a spot sprinkle. I wouldn't even go as far as to characterize it as a shower. I think there can be a sprinkle around here that we may have to dodge up until around 5 o'clock. Nicer day coming on Wednesday, Thursday, even nicer. By the time we get to Friday, we'll bring another system in for certainly Saturday. Guys? All right, Sam and Heather, thank you. That is it for us. I'm Shirley Nalicat. And I'm Mike Marza. Thanks for waking up with us this morning. Wow, what a sunrise. That's beautiful. Have a great day. 69.